beautiful people and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Deja Olsen. I am a 19 year old senior in college and today it's been a minute since I did my five tattoo tour at 19. It's currently August 24th and I filmed and posted that one I think in March and now I am at 11 tattoos, still at 19. And I wanted to give you a little update because the sleeve is coming along and I think it'll be fun to do these videos every so often because I just love tattoos and I just keep getting them. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so my first two, don't think I'm flashing you. I'm just gonna show you, okay. My first two are right here. I have a wave and a mountain. And then I have right here, it says life is beautiful. So those are my first two. And I like to get my tattoos in all different states, even countries. And um, I got my first one in Colorado. I live in Nebraska, but I got this one in Colorado when I was on a trip. And then I got this one in Omaha, Nebraska. And both of them didn't really hurt. The, of course, it has a pain because it's a needle buzzing into your skin, but honestly, really not that bad at all. And I love them so much. They're so beautiful. I kind of wanted my first to like out of sight, out of mind, but now I, I just get them wherever I want. And then next I have on my wrist, it says Divine Feminine. It's a little, a little crooked. Um, I posted a story about that on my, my podcast, which is also on this YouTube channel, um, my craziest tattoo experience. But a guy basically um, passed out. We were with other teenagers, yeah, 18, 19 year olds, and they were drunk in New York. This is, I got this in New York. And basically, when the, the one fell, my tattoo artist, she got a little like shaken up and she did the rest kind of crooked, but it's okay. We all gotta have one that's a little like off. And you know, it's unique and I could care less. I don't know. I just don't care very much. I, I like it, she's fine. Pain level also, not too bad at all. Really not bad. I used to be scared of veins, like the veins right here. Um, because, I don't know, I was like, what if they get, like, cut? Ugh, I thought I was gonna die. Weird, I know. <laughs> but now, I just don't care. Uh, I got over that fear, irrational fear, and then I got a tattoo right there. And I love it, Divine Feminine. Part of me wishes I had the Life is Beautiful right here, and then Divine Feminine here, but it's okay. It's fine. Okay, next. Oh. We'll talk about this one little hidden one. So I just went to Europe for a whole month, five weeks to be exact, and I can't just go to Europe and not get a tattoo. And I, I had to time it out because you're not supposed to swim for at least like two weeks after you get a tattoo. So um, I got my tattoo in London because it was gonna be kind of like cold and gloomy I don't know, just cold, a little bit cold, chilly for a couple weeks. So I was like, okay, I think I'm good. So right here, I have a heart with a little open, it's kind of open at the top. So that one also did not hurt at all. Lasted like a minute, I don't know, not long at all. That one, well, a heart is cute, you know? Just, I love love, so it's cute to have a little heart, but also, my favorite author is Colleen Hoover. And my favorite book, the first one I read of hers is It Ends With Us. And in that book, that heart is like, I don't know. It's a thing between the two main characters and then the girl, she gets it, like that same heart tattooed on her collarbone because of that guy. I was like, oh my God, that used to be such a cute tattoo. So I had to. And then moving on to the arm. So this is where all the rest are. So I have them all here, and then I also have one right here. So this one, oh, 
is just 227 and I got that one in New York as well. Didn't hurt at all. The back of the arm just doesn't hurt whatsoever. And yeah, 227. Um, February 27th is my birthday and I just really like that number. Well, 27 is my favorite number, but so is 227. I like them both. I actually, that it's an angel number with like really good meaning. Just like follow your intuition and your life purpose. I don't know. Something along those lines. And when we went to New York, I, well, we went for my 19th birthday. My two friends and I, I booked us a trip to New York for a weekend around my birthday. And it was, <laughs> I booked us this little, it was like a little apartment and still expensive but cheaper than hotels it was like 200 dollars a night and anyway we went into the building it was like right by the empire state building not far away at all so it was just one building next to all the other buildings connected and we like talked to the guy and we had to like hold our luggage for a little bit before we could check in which was fine but it was, it was free and then when he gave us our room keys the number was 227 for the room. I was like, ah, that's so cool. So um, that's why I got the 227. I was like, I have to get it here in New York. And, and you know, cause pricing, I was like, why not get two? Because there's a shop minimum. Sometimes if you get another one, it's cheaper in a way. Still a lot of money, but I love them so much. Next I have, okay, we'll start up here. So when I was, I got this Eiffel Tower right here, so cute. When I was in Europe, I got these at the same time, the hearts and then the Eiffel Tower. Because the Eiffel Tower, we went to Paris right before London and the Eiffel Tower is literally the most beautiful, like man-made structure I've ever seen in my entire life. So I was like, I want this tattooed on my body. Like when it twinkles, it twinkles at night. It just, well, it lights up for a lot of hours, like 10 to 1 a.m. at least that I know of. And then for five minutes, 11 to 11.05 and midnight to 12.05, it twinkles, a bunch of twinkling lights and it's so pretty. And I went there all three nights that I was in Paris. I went to the Eiffel Tower every single night. My friend and I had a great time and we even saw a couple propose get engaged in front of us so it's very memorable to me i just love the eiffel tower so how to get that and then next is this one that's me and my best friend i drew this for us we both have it she has it on her ankle and it's just of us rollerblading because we just we're best friends we're gonna be best friends forever and we love to do outdoor things together, like especially rollerblade. We went rollerblading like a week ago and we've been rollerblading since like fifth grade. So <laughs> I was like, why not? Let's do that, it'd be so cute. And I just love this one, so cute. Okay, next is my son. This one, ooh, that one is like my favorite. I mean, I really like all of them, and I feel like it's between us rollerblading and then my son, but the sun, I just love the sun so much. So beautiful. And I don't know, it just gives off light and energy and warmth, and for me, happiness, so I had to get that. And these two, they, this one kind of hurt, because it's just the inside of the arm, and it's close to like the middle of your arm. Um, and then this one, it only hurt up here, the top of the race. <laughs> yeah, that's what hurt, but the rest of it didn't. And you know, it's so worth it. Like all of these took under half an hour, so the pain isn't for that long. And then next is my turtle. I wanna show you, okay. Yes, my turtle. Oh, I love sea turtles, they're amazing. They're my favorite animal, so I really wanted to get one on my body. And you know, when I die, I'd like to be reincarnated into a sea turtle. So maybe that'll improve my odds getting a choice in the next life. I don't know. 
I got the idea kind of from of that idea from Moana. You ever seen the movie Disney movie Moana? She her her grandma has a manta ray tattoo on her back, like a huge one, and then she like dances in the water with the manta rays. And when she dies, she becomes a huge beautiful manta ray. So enough said. <laughs> And then my last two is this avocado. I love avocados. I have an avocado pillow, a avocado keychain, and I have like seven avocado trees. Like I actually grow my own avocado trees. I have a video about that too. And I just love avocados so much. They're so tasty. And one day I want my own avocado farm because how cool would that be? give all my friends and family avocados <laughs> so that's why I got this one okay this one didn't hurt but the healing oh this one sorry I keep forgetting. this one did not hurt really at all he just worked on it for a long time like he took a long time to do this my friend she got like six B tattoos that were like six of like the size and she got those done and then he was still working on this. He just wanted to make it really detailed. And I really appreciate that because it's like, um, there's a shadow under it and stuff. And it's really detailed and beautiful. I got these both in Iowa and then Nebraska and then London. And this one, so it didn't hurt, but the healing was awful. At least for me. I got this, um, I went to Kansas City, Missouri for the pride parade this summer so it was in june and you're not really supposed to have tattoos in like the sun initially when you first get them or in the water or whatever and i just can't stand the sun if it's summer you just can't i just love it so much and it's not here forever summer you know it's gonna be winter soon so it was just like scarring i guess i don't know being all weird it was yeah and it took at least like over two weeks of that and then finally it's okay i even like you're not supposed to pick at them and like i was picking at this one just because i knew it was like dead flaky like skin whatever <sighs> try to stay away from color unless you get it in winter that might be a better idea if you get a color tattoo try to do it in winter because i just i don't know if i'm ever gonna have a color tattoo again if i'm being honest but it's cute to have one it's an avocado it'd be boring if it was just the line like the outline in black okay and then my next one is right here and it just says love is love in cursive because love is love you know i don't know it's like to support pride i'm bisexual so i wanted to support and that's why i went to the kansas city pride parade and yeah so i got this one and the avocado together didn't hurt at all and I love this one I like how it's just like on the side I kind of forget it's there because when I look at my arm it's like this view but you know <laughs> so yeah that is all my tattoos I think yeah that's all my tattoos how to make sure so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I promise I'll keep doing more uh, I hope you like them you guys like my very first one so I hope you guys like this one and I'm gonna be getting more tattoos. And I think of the six I've recently gotten, I might have included like three in the videos, but not the other three. So that's why I wanted to share them with you and show you the updates. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you stayed till the end, I really appreciate you. And yeah, I'll see you in next week's video. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful week. Bye.